At the Bitter Tang Farm, we like to have fun with nature. I co-founded this design farm because of our interest in creating biologically inclined constructs. We now operate out of Guadalajara and New York City and design things such as plush toys, inflatable creatures, water gardens, and ice palaces. The range is wide, but they often share one thing in common. They all have been stuffed. Their skins have been pressurized with soft and supple materials. Building architecture out of soft elements is a challenge, but through pressurizing the skins, we are able to build walls and canopies out of transient materials and put them to work in unexpected ways. Membranes can be filled with gases, liquid, gels, and other soft mediums to produce strong and resilient building blocks. We call these elements pressurized membranes. In 2010, in 2010, Blopuff protected visitors at Union Square in Manhattan acoustically and visually from the exuberant environment of the city. Upon entering through a low opening, your body was forced to remain in contact with its soft ground, enticing you to lay down, relax, and mingle. Kids had a blast crawling into a secret hideout. This uh, loosely moving aside draped Spanish moss, discovering a soft interior that transported them to a world far away from Union Square. We designed a lightweight, transparent membrane, which, when inflated, becomes an inhabitable pavilion. Air then becomes structural, supporting a fragrant crown of eucalyptus leaves and a tapestry of Spanish moss, transforming its inter interior into a naturalized atmosphere. Burbobup, a summer pavilion we built at Governor's Island in New York City, used two types of membranes, plastic for inflatables and nylon mesh for sausages. The sausages were stuffed with loose wood chips, allowing us to sculpt step seating and structural walls out of what would normally be a large pile of compost. The interesting thing about working with pressurized membranes is that over time, they react to changes in temperature and, fr and, and pressures applied to them. The forms we created in Burbobob evolve in ways we never anticipated. The sausages became alive with the New York uh, moist summer, sprouting mushrooms and all kinds of organisms. The inflatables that made up the canopy grew enormous asses. Their out-of-control behinds affected the canopy unexpectedly, making it more dynamic due to the friction and tension between the resilient butts. <laughs> Designed to be played with, the pavilion came alive when filled with people punching, petting it, and hugging it. Pressurized membranes have allowed us to explore new architectural possibilities. Uh, we are proposing new environments using liquids and gases as architecture's fundamental building blocks to challenge what it means to build. The Ice Palace speculates on the combination of pressurized air, dyed water, and an extreme cold environment to create colorful ice sausages. They're structural as well. We also design a water garden, basically a garden growing on a waterbed, where the ground is capable of rippling at the lightest touch. Your experience of the garden is completely transformed as you jump on a vegetated membrane, causing ripples of sod and flowers to emanate from your feet. As we continue on this journey of bridging the natural environment and architecture, we want to expand our work by pushing our membranes towards living systems. What if these membranes encourage growth and allow for the natural environment to take over? Imagine giant gelatinous bodies they can nourish and shelter an entire crop of fish. Their gelatinous walls will accumulate life and become floating ecological reefs that can, that can follow currents and tides totally taken on a life of their own. These material explorations are simultaneously engineering marvels as much as they are fantasy experiences and dream spaces. It is with these magical environments that we will continue to bring happiness and pleasure to our built world. Thank you.